Hello everybody. My name is David. Today is the 17th of February 2019. It is Sunday and I'm going to teach you three ways that you can backslide. That's right. You heard me right. Three ways. I am going to teach you the three ways to a successful backslide away from our Lord. You ready? Number one, stop going to church. That's the first way to start down your path, to start down your road to backsliding. Don't go to church. Why would you want to go to church if you're going to backslide? You don't want to be hearing the word of the Lord every week. So, don't go to church. Number two, stop reading your Bible. If you want to be a successful person in the world of backsliding, my friends, don't read your Bible. You can't. If you really want to hit that home run in the world of backslide, don't read your Bible. The third one. Stop praying. Pretty self-explanatory. If you want to backslide, don't talk to the Lord. My friends, I promise you, I guarantee you 1,000% that if you do these three simple things, stop going to church, stop reading your Bible, and stop praying, I promise you, you will successfully become a backslider. You will be the backslider of all backsliders. You'll be the king or the queen of backsliding. If you just follow my simple three rules. That's it. It's not hard. Stop going to church. Stop reading your Bible. Stop praying. That's how you backslide. Now, obviously, I'm not serious in that. I was hoping that I grabbed your attention by stating how you can backslide. Sadly, too many in the Christian world today has done these three very simple but effective, very effective means to backslide. Now, time to get serious. Backsliding is no joke. Backsliding is when a Christian who has felt the presence of the Lord, who has been there, who has read his word, who has been faithful on Sunday, who prays and speaks with the Lord, walks away from all of that. He leaves God and goes back into the world. My friends, I've said it before, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve the world and serve God. No. My friends, you can't do that. You can't. You can't be lukewarm neither. God tells us he will spew you from his mouth. You can't straddle the fence. You either take my three-point lesson here. Very, very easy. And I mind you, it's very successful. This is a 100% guarantee. A 100% guarantee how to backslide. I promise you it'll work. Or you stay in church. And you turn what you're struggling against, what you're fighting against, 
you turn it over to the Lord. You do that, my friends, and this won't even be a word in your vocabulary. Backsliding will not even be a word in your vocabulary. What does the Bible say about turning away from the Lord? Well, let's see. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 says as follows. For it is impossible to renew to repentance those who were once enlightened, saved, born again, who tasted the heavenly gift, who had a relationship with Christ, became, what's that say? Campion of the Holy Spirit. You cannot walk away from the Lord and then expect to have God answer your prayers. You cannot do that. Those who were once enlightened, who tasted the heavenly gift, became companions with the Holy Spirit. Companions, meaning you were one with the Holy Spirit. Companions, you were one. You walked away and backslid. Let's follow on to the next one. Hebrews, we're going to stay in Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26 and 27. For if we deliberately sin after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin, verse 27, but a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fury of a fire about to consume the adversaries. If we deliberately sin after receiving the knowledge of the truth. What is the truth? That is God receiving the knowledge of truth being born again, being saved, accepting Christ into your life. That is receiving the knowledge of the truth. And we see here, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. If you walk away from that, what Christ did on the cross no longer applies to you. If you have backslid, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin unless you come back and ask for forgiveness and come back into the fold. Okay? What Christ did on the cross means nothing for you because you rejected that. You reject Christ by walking away. He, you, that is one of the worst things a believer can do. It happens every day. But believe me, it is a terrible thing. And finally, Isaiah 1, 4. This one, pay attention to. This is a good one. O sinful nation, people weighed down with iniquity, brood of evildoers, depraved children, they have abandoned the Lord. They have despised the one of Israel. They have turned their backs on him. That last sentence sums up and is the absolute definition of backsliding, my friends. That is the definition. In my book, that is the definition of Someone who has backslid away from the Lord. Listen again. They have turned their backs on Him. They've turned their backs on Him. They've walked away from Christ. You understand? That is backsliding, my friends. When God opens His world up, when, he, when you feel His Spirit... 
when you when you move in the spirit and you receive knowledge and the word and your study and you pray and you go to church and then you walk away from all of that it, it, it is it, it is there's not really even a word that I can put to that to describe the 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 awfulness of that when one knows the receiving the knowledge of the truth and then turn their backs on him i mean it's two different books it's hebrews and isaiah but as you can see it still goes together it still means that you walked away from the Lord. You turned your back on him. I think that Isaiah 1-4 is the perfect definition and as a whole of what backsliding is. I mean, it really sums it up to a T. It really does, my friends. Again, if you want to backslide and you want an absolute guaranteed, without a doubt, root to backsliding, you can stop going to church, stop reading your Bible, and stop praying. But I do not recommend it because there's nothing like being empty inside. Walking away from the Lord once you've been given and received the knowledge of the truth. Okay, my friends, the Lord, when you give your life to God, He opens up so much to you. He gives you so much it's impossible for me to even begin to describe everything that the Lord can do and has done in my life, but in your life if you accept Him. It, it, it's, you, you can't even put it into words. It's, it's wonderful. It truly is. And then to know that you have that spot in heaven for all eternity. Your name is in that book for, for, for all eternity if you accept Christ and walk with Him. But, if you stop going to church, stop reading your Bible, and stop praying, then you backslide, your name's removed from the Lamb's Book of Life, then there's only one place to go from there, my friends. And it ain't up. It's down. And I don't want to see anybody go to hell. Especially the ones that have received the knowledge of the truth and then turn their backs on him. Don't be that person, my friends. Don't walk away from the Lord. Things get tough for everybody. For everybody. That's when the Lord will be there for you even more. Even more. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. And please... Do not backslide. Stay with God, especially today. God bless. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.